guys, hello, welcome to another video. It's Julie Dekoja here from TTP and today's video is gonna be about Turkish pastries as you can see. So we went this morning to a bakery and we bought some Turkish pastries and we're gonna taste them together and yeah, so I hope you will enjoy this video and let's get into the video. Here we have eight different uh, sorts of pastries, but of course in Turkey we have many more, but these are just a couple of them. So here we have simit, uh, here we have kandi simidi, çatal, açma, gül böreği, poğaça, dere otlu poğaça, sade poğaça and rulo börek. And we also have, of course, our uh, famous Turkish tea, uh, which is perfect with Turkish pastries. So yeah, let's uh, get into the video and let's just start to taste them. So first we will start with the famous simit. If you have been around in Turkey, you see that they sell these everywhere. This is actually like a Turkish bagel, uh, which is topped with some sesame seeds. It's soft inside, but crunchy on the outside. So it's one of my most favorites. So yeah, let's try it. Okay, so as you can see, it's soft in the middle and crunchy on the outside and perfect with our tea. So yeah, but my favorite way to have simit is actually with iron. It's a Turkish yogurt drink, uh, but now as it is uh, in the morning, I just got my tea. But if you're in Turkey, definitely try simit with iron, which I find the best combination. So yeah, this is simit. Okay, so this is a kandi simidi. Uh, so kandi simidi is a smaller version uh, of simit and it's more crunchy, uh, it's not soft in the inside, it's more like a cookie actually, uh, but it's also topped with sesame seeds and uh, it's usually made uh, during the kandil <laughs> cans in Turkey, they are everywhere. So. Uh, this is kandil simidi. It's usually made during the kandil bayramı. So yeah, let's move on to the next one. This is çatal. So this one you can also find uh, in the streets. They sell them next to the simit usually. And uh, I love to have this one as well uh, with white cheese and pomegranate molasses. So çatal is actually not only salty, it's also a bit sweet. Uh, so yeah, it's also nice to have for breakfast and um, this one is also more like a cookie as you can see it's more crunchy and yeah so let's try it out let's come to the next one uh, here we have açma so when compared to simit uh, açma is softer it's more buttery today we went for an açma with olives so sometimes they make it with chocolate sometimes with other things this one is with olives and they also have the plain one uh, but yeah we want it to be something different and now it's tasting time so yeah let's give it a try cheers it's so good. It's, it's very delicious because you can have it on its own. You don't need very much. It's an easy and quick breakfast if you don't have a lot of time. So yeah, this is Ajma. Okay, so now it's time for poacha. So this is a basic poacha. So let's come to what poacha is actually. A small soft bread. Uh, and they have some crunchier versions and softer versions. So this is a soft version of poacha and this is a crunchy version of poacha. So poacha is uh, usually filled with potatoes, white cheese, uh, spinach, ground beef. You can find any sort. They can be quite creative with it. Uh, so yeah. This one is a plain one, there is nothing in, so I'm just going to show you the inside. It is like soft bread, uh, it's also a bit sweet and a bit buttery. And uh, this one is um, a crunchy poacha with dill. So this is one of my favorites, uh, I like to have these ones because it's very crunchy, it's very delicious for breakfast. And yeah, now we are going to show the inside. This one is with dill and a bit of white cheese. We are going to start with uh, tasting the sade poacha. Cheers! 
not really my favorite. It's a bit dry and hard to swallow. So at first, let's have a sip of tea before tasting the crunchy one. Mm, cheers. Mm. Perfect. So now let's move on to our next pastry, uh, burek. Actually, burek is a filo dough pastry uh, which can be made in different forms. So they have uh, some that are made by boiling the dough, some by frying, some by baking in the oven. Uh, so you have a lot of different sorts and they can be filled with many different uh, fillings, with ground beef, with cheese, with spinach, with, with anything you want actually. So today we have a uh, this is called gulbere because it is actually shaped in a rose. Uh, it is filled with uh, spinach and it's rolled into a rose shape and then baked in the oven. And here we have another one. This one is uh, rouleau berek which is filled with potatoes or uh, gulbere with spinach. As you can see it's very flaky and it's very buttery actually. So yeah, cheers. As you can see, these are much oilier than the other pastries. Yeah, but it's also very delicious uh, to have for breakfast or for dinner or for lunch. Okay, so guys, uh, we came to the end of another video and yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have the chance to come to Turkey, definitely try these pastries. Write the one you like the most down in the comments and don't forget to have a Turkish tea with it. Uh, so yeah, see you at another video.